Hi first graders, we miss you so much. Today I'm going to talk to you about our focus standards for the week and give you some ideas that you can work on. Our whole first grade team is working together to send out videos, so you might see videos from each of us this week coming to your mailboxes. So, um, first of all, in math this week, our two goals are I can add and subtract up to 20 using non-count by one strategies. We've worked on this goal now for, the, for three weeks. Um, but it's a really important one and one we can continue to practice on. And also I'm learning to make sense of word problems. This one's new for this week. Some tasks that you can do this week is um, Dreambox. Don't forget to log on to Clever and go to Dreambox. You can watch the two focus videos that will come out. Here's my cat. <laughs> kitty, kitty. And um, you can do, if you have a math packet, you can do page 93 and 94. It looks like this. Um, from unit six, module two, which works on word problems as well. And finally, um, there will be a couple problems of the day that come out as well. So that's math. Next, um, in reading, the two goals for this week is, I can compare and contrast adventures and experiences of characters. So we compared and contrast last week two books that were on the same topic. Now we're gonna um, specifically focus on characters. So if you, two strategies you can do is to um, think about the beginning and the middle and the end and how the character changed and also to use the tool Venn diagram to organize how two characters in the book might be the same and be different. You can do this with read alouds that come from Mrs. Connolly this week you can also do this with books that you're reading on your own. So an example of what that might look like, you um, could just draw a little chart that says beginning, middle, end. Sorry, it's hard to see. Beginning, middle, end. And you could write, how did the character feel in the beginning? Were they happy, sad, mad? Maybe you wanna use some big words for happy, sad, or mad, like grumpy, um, or excited. Um, or bored, brave, curious, and then talk about how the character may have changed in the middle, and finally how the character is at the end. And then again, you can use your Venn diagram to talk about two different characters in the book and how they might be the same. You write down how they're the same in the middle and how they might be different. Also in reading, we're gonna to continue to work on reading grade level text with accuracy. So some tasks you can do this week are Lexia Core 5. Don't forget to log into Clever and work on that about 10 to 15 minutes per day. Learning A to Z is now open and you have all kinds of books at your level to work on reading grade level text. Um, Epic is still available. You'll get a focus video or two and then you'll have read alouds where you can work on those character development as well. Moving into writing, this week we're going to continue to work on writing strong narratives. We want our narratives to be focused on a small moment with a beginning, a middle, and end. We want to make sure we're including transition words like first, next, and then. And we want to make sure we're always paying attention to capitals and punctuation as well. You'll get some focus videos for writing this week. And um, at any time you can write a narrative by brainstorming an idea and telling about a time when, maybe a time when you were sad or happy or mad, um, then those are some ideas you can write about. In social studies this week, we will know that we celebrate people and events from our nation's past. You'll get a focus video covering lesson four, which is page 136 through 139 of your social studies text. You can also visit Brain Pop for more videos on social studies. Don't forget your family will have to create a login for you, but it is free if they create a family account. And then Google Earth virtual field trips is also another good way to get in those social studies standards. And finally, science. You're gonna to continue to learn about how plants and animals meet their needs to survive. This week we have a special event for you. Um, you'll get an invitation for a Zoom meeting with a lizard scientist. It will be Wednesday at 9 a.m. So make sure your teacher has sent that invitation out for you so you can join us on Wednesday at 9 a.m. Um, also Earth Day is on Wednesday, so you, maybe you can think about some ways that you can be helpful to our Earth. That's it for this week. You'll get focus 
videos sent each morning that will go with your teachers learning for the week and to help you um, with some ideas for how to meet those standards this week. We miss you. Bye.